Bottles, bottles, who's got the bottles? Me. Welcome to my channel, The Freaky Maroon Haired Lady. And I'm sure most of you are wondering, how in the heck did I come up with that name, The Freaky Maroon Haired Lady? Well, my son wrote me a poem when he was in junior high, titled The Freaky Maroon Haired Lady. That poem means the world to me, and I love it. So it's a name that means a lot to me, and therefore I thought there wouldn't be a better name than the Freaky Maroon Haired Lady for my channel. I began collecting bottles back when I was attending pharmacy school at the University of Montana. And a professor shared a couple bottles with me from the basement of his pharmacy. And from then on, I have been collecting bottles. I love the history behind the bottles, and I love the stories they tell. So when I was taking down the bottle collection from my pharmacy in March, my wonderful friend and pharmacist employee, Gwendolyn, said, Hertha, you've got to share this. So therefore, I decided that's what I was going to do. So sit back. It's only time, won't cost you a dime, and listen to my stories. I hope you enjoy it. I find it fascinating. This particular uh, collection came from Midland Drug, which was a pharmacy uh, that started back probably in 1913 in Billings, Montana, at the corner of 27th and 1st Avenue. And so the, this collection is what I'm going to share with you in the next few weeks. I hope you enjoy it. Here we go. The first bottle I'd like to share with you is skunk oil. Yes, skunk oil. I'm sure you're wondering, gosh, how in the world would somebody put skunk oil on their body? I bet that stinks. What's interesting is this particular skunk oil does not smell because it does not come from the glands that the skunk sprays at you when he's pissed. This oil comes from two glands that run down the lateral portion of his back. And the glands basically are fat. And that fat is what sustains them through hibernation. So the Native Americans are the ones who really started using this product back in the late 1800s and early 1900s. And a lot of the trappers and gentlemen who came west found it worked wonderful as a liniment. So that's how it started. And this particular bottle is packaged by a company called Noise Brothers Cutler. They were a pharmaceutical distributor that started back in the early 1900s. They're located in St. Paul, Minnesota and that building still stands today. They in, uh, imported and, and took in drugs around the country, and it was the pharmacists, druggists, and chemists who would put them together and package them so they could be distributed to other pharmacies and drug wholesale companies around the country. So, lots of history with uh, the, the wholesale company as well, which is Noise Brothers Color. And they even distributed as far as Montana, which I found really interesting in the literature. The way this product was used is the oil that was extracted from the skunk would be um, heated and it would have the consistency of oil and they would use it topically as a liniment. It worked beautiful for sore muscles, any type of, um, ant for inflammation and pain. And it also was used to rub on your chest when you had a cold or cough, severe bronchial infections, and it would help draw it out and help move that junk out of your lungs. So it became used quite commonly and therefore started to be packaged. It's a wonderful moisturizer 
and it's a wonderful healer of cuts and scrapes and really chapped areas of your skin. It really helps remove that callus and, and make it more comfortable, especially on your feet. Believe it or not, it was used orally as well. And again, for coughs and croups, and it was said it was very healing. And so it was used as a medicine. What it, what's another really interesting use is that women used it as a contraceptive. Go figure that one out. So, skunk oil, believe it or not, a medicine that proved to be very good in the early days and continued to be packaged into the probably early 20s and 30s in this country. Skunk oil. Does anybody want to try it? You guys, if you like what you see, I want you to like, subscribe, comment, and share. I plan to do these once a week, and I have many, many bottles and many stories to share with you. Thank you for watching, and remember, live, laugh, and love. Let God's light shine and share it with everyone you know, because tomorrow we might not have a chance to do that. Have a great day and have a great week.